Coachella plays new Super Mario Bros. 2 in the desert. We started dim, but we're bringing you to the light. Yeah, I, I guess the, the 3DS was asleep. <laughs> or your TV was. They're going to learn not to TV. sleep on Coachella. Well, thank you. I'm glad you got that. I would have been heartbroken. Wounded if I would have. Um, come, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Really, Michael, let it go. Yeah, I got it. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> well, oh mom, thank you, goodness. Um So didn't you complain about this before too? Like Mario always has like the same levels, like oh my gosh, thank you. Um uh, like it's always my, like a desert level that's the second one. Yeah, my yeah, they, they always go in the same order. They haven't changed the music between the four games, like four games and you didn't get any new music. It's kind of insane. Um because there's this mod that maybe we could play sometime, like new su newer Super Mario Bros. Um, if you don't want to lose your fox, I would be careful here. Oh, this one's actually awesome, though. Yeah. Ooh, the Mario Brothers. Nice. But yeah, um, there's this mod, newer Super Mario Bros, that has like a freeze flame galaxy, a maple forest from... Uh, from from uh, Mario Kart, they have all these like they have a like a Sakura Blossom world. Like they have so many cool things, and then they add like a Hammer Brothers ability. Look at me, I'm like you're you're like gold, and I'm like silver. It's so cool, and they they could they can do so much with Mario, but they choose not to for like brand purity, and that's like my big frustration with Mario. Oh, in general, you see uh, when I hit that, it bounced me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's my big frustration with Mario in general. Is it's like their 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 only focus is like brand <laughs> purity. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. I don't like anything like that though. That's my problem with Star Wars. Like I feel like. Although, Star have you seen this the the anime collaboration with Star Wars? No. Uh, check that out and see if it changes your mind. Like I I, I feel the same way about Star Wars. It's like it's the movies. It's just the same thing every time. Yeah, um, I mean, to a, to a fault. I think that's where Solo went wrong. Solo, they they had a great thought with it, but everything that they were doing to make it different, they just ruined it. Yeah, they took they got rid of the directors. They got rid of one of the actors on it. They kept somebody who was like struggling the whole time. Like it's it just like, all right, bro, what's up, y'all? Yeah. They took away the humor aspect of it. I don't know. It the anime thing for Disney Plus looks awesome though. Oh, Trevor, me boy, I'm sorry. Listen, I thought I could bubble up, man. I'm used to being able to press like just L and R. Oh look, he's throwing coins. And now our hammers! Ah! Um Yeah, yeah, it's just it's it's a thing that's really I mean, and they let Mario play sometimes. That's what's weird. Is that for Odyssey? I mean, sure, look at these weird rabbit people. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do we'll do human beings in New York City. And yeah, whatever. You know? But for new Super Mario Bros. Grass, desert, water, ice, uh, hmm. it, Lemmy, Roy. It, it's it's just kind of weird. Like at this point, I almost prefer like a oh my gosh, uh, like a spiritual remake of um. <laughs> oh, good thing this is down here. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> oh, uh, Trevor. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> coins. Shouldn't let me get that. You okay. Get that. Nice. There you, there you go. There's a little treat for you. <laughs> you wouldn't get the crumbs, huh? The friendship is. <laughs> what if Catrello became the next IGN? <laughs> we just review games. <laughs> review games that got bought off by people. There's a <laughs> there's kidding. a world uh, there's a world where I'd, I'd have fun reviewing games. No one would like me though. I'd be like the most hated review person. Oh yeah, the minute you gave Days Gone a four, you know they'll never forgive you for it. I mean, honestly, people just never forgive you for giving any game they like a bad score. 
And um, I mean, yeah. if people were ready to cancel Donkey because you know he um, what was it? Uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, and there's people freaking out about a guy who gave Breath of the Wild a seven. It's like I can totally see the argument, but you know, people view it from the lens of like I liked that game, I had fun with it, and it means a lot to me. You know, so it, it, you just gotta separate the stuff. Like, is Sonic 06, you know, one of the worst games in in modern memory? Probably. But I still had fun with it, and I liked the game. It doesn't bother me that people think it stinks. I think it stinks. It just, you know, it's just... It's you just gotta keep it moving. I think some things are objectively wrong, though. I think, so for, for me, for somebody to tell me Final Fantasy VII Remake isn't a good game, I think that's objectively wrong. Now, it may not right, be right, your right. favorite yeah, so, game, yeah, but it's a good game, you could say, Yeah, and you could say that it has problems here and there. Like, you know, one of the problems I have with, with, the, with the game is... Um, you know, that you see a lot of the same types of locations and enemies and, you know, the game can come off looking a little grayscale sometimes. It's like, you know, like I, I could see where you could kind of pick out certain problems that you would have with the project. Uh, but then there, you know, yeah, there's there's like there's got to be some like objective bar. And it's like, you know, Zelda makes me feel good is not like an objective thing. But Breath of the Wild came out uh, precisely like, what was it, uh, I think like 30 years, um, 30 years after the original Legend of Zelda. So the people that were reviewing it were pe the same people who grew up with its, you know, spiritual, uh, what's it called, um, with with the inspiration with it for, for Breath of the Wild was the original Zelda. And those are the same people who like played that as little kids. And it's like that... It has an effect on a, a, what, how a lot of people feel about it. Um, and also, I, I don't know, a lot of people lose me with, like, very emotional appeals for, like, why they like a game. Um, which, like, you know, cool. Like, tell me about that. There's a cool story there, for sure. But, um, hold on a second. I gotta... <sighs> well, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's like Mario Sunshine. It's fun. It's about beaches and like also it. It's got a, a ton of bugs. Some of the levels just flat out do not work. Uh, like there's a lot of aspects of the game that just are not good. I get it, but for some, but, but it'll always be a nine or eight for everybody because it's a Mario game and it's like it passes. And it's a part of that childhood, man. I get it. Like that was a game I got from my granddad. My my listen. I begged my granddad for that game. Begged him, and as soon as he gave it to me, I never called him again. Um, it was really terrible. Really terrible. My first time using some evil video game. Bubble. Michael, I'm not used to just having to press it on the touchpad. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, again, they, they could mop, map any of the shoulder buttons to do the bubble. It'd be so easy, but that that's that's dumb. This is the the three DS, the dual screen touch. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> hey you. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing about it. Like you know, I think something like oh you know we all everything is sub like subjective right no yeah but some things i think can objectively be wrong even though opinions they're just opinions sure but you have a hard time convincing me that you know even with the flaws that it has that final fantasy 9 is a bad game like i have a hard time believing that but you know of course you know i'm, I'm also learning just to not care i just call people crazy like i think you know i heard somebody say that donkey kong not donkey kong uh was it Mario 3D Land was better than Mario come, 3D World? Come this way. Which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, yeah, well, there's certain things that you can say. But that that's... Okay, so that's also another review gripe that I would get people like... Like, you know, no one would ever play... You know, they do a review for League of Legends and play against computers and be like, this game, you know, is really unfocused. There's not really much going on. Uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of blase and boring. Like, no, the game is highly competitive five on five people. If you're not playing in that environment, you're not reviewing the game. You're reviewing some like semblance of the game. And I know that's hard because some people won't be like, they won't click with the gameplay systems. And, you know, it's like, oh, 
Yeah, I don't know where I am. Mike, you just went off screen. I'm, I'm sorry, man. We got, we got, it's it's weird because we have to share the screen, but it doesn't confine you to that. It'll let you go away and just like disappear. <laughs> go in your own little corner without seeing where the corner is. But it's oh, like we're back I, here. If I don't know how to play MOBAs and it doesn't click with me, and and then I'm like, Pokemon Unite is a bad game. It's like I mean, it's just a lot that a lot of context and such that we're missing here. Oh, I can't do this. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave up. Oh, I we did. already got the coin anyway, right? Uh, no. But we can get this one. Yeah, so basically what you're saying is that there's an unfair, unfair critique. Well, it's like, it's not, it's not necessarily unfair. Cause like, you know, you don't know how to play that game and you don't like it because of that. Like, fair enough. I think there's like a story and a, and a review to be there. But that's why like, you know, reviews need to be looked at as like very personal. You know, like, I, Michael, who grew up playing Donkey Kong and doesn't really click with shooter games, like, you know, you don't want my opinion on the latest Halo game because I just don't really click with shooters. And that's okay, you know, put someone put someone in, in who, like, does. Um, but I think the, the positive bias is more of the, the problem, which, you know, it's like, so people think games are better than they actually are. Uh, is that a problem? Not really. You know, makes people feel good. Uh, people, you know, generally don't like to hear that the game that they spent a lot of time on isn't good or whatever, or it has these problems. I mean, the problem, well, my, my only thing about it is when people really make it personal, right? Like, it's just not the game we needed right now. See, that's not fair. That's not a fair critique of a game. Like, you know, I don't think. Um, I mean, if you're critiquing, like, you know, a, a studio's kind of, like, portfolio, you know, it's like, I think a fair criticism of PlayStation is that they are way too deep in the, the third-person, semi-open world action RPG uh, cinematic game. Like, you know, you just, you, you get one of those every year from them. It's, like, almost all they make now. Yeah, I know. I get that. Um, I'm talking about like, but you know the critique I'm talking about. This is for, this was for a Donkey Kong game that it got that critique. That's not fair. Yeah. Well, and there, there's yeah, there's also other funny things. I, I remember when Tropical Freeze came out, and I listened to this uh, Nintendo podcast, and they they just could not get over how much they they didn't think the game was good because it fe the jumping felt weird to them because it didn't feel like Mario. It's like. Mario feels like <laughs> I mean Mario doesn't feel as good to me like but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna quantify that in like how you don't have as much control as as I feel like you should in a game that's demanding this much from you but um but yeah so anyway no one no one would like my reviews they'd be way too specific and uh they'd be very long oh you'd have long reviews you'd be that guy yeah cause I mean are, are we gonna talk about the game or are we gonna talk about like you know like I just uh, how are you gonna how do you get how are you gonna take something that's like forty hours long, took five years to make, and like all right, here's my three minute review of how good this game is. I mean, I think for like a basic recommendation of like you should buy this or you should not, you should care about it, you should not. I don't know. I used to really respect people who didn't put scores on, but now I I feel like uh, scores are like now now I feel uh, a little bit more complex about the issue. I miss scores in a lot of cases. Uh, I I do not miss the lack of bravery people have to like put a score on something. You know yeah. what to do. And to your point, you I know remember what to you, do. you know a great a great rapper that you mentioned in the last episode. You know you talked about like people with like with album reviews. People are reviewing an album in a day. He's like, there's no way you're being able to 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 digest an entire album in just a day. Stop it, like. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed you'd walk forward. My bad. You just skipped over my my great point, huh? Uh, That's what you get. That's what you get. Luigi's uh, taking the, the thing. fingers. Ta you missed. You missed it. What thing? Luigi. What thing? You get. You scared me. What thing? I'll show you. Oh. 
But yeah, same thing. It's like so. I to your point, like you know, to digest something to really like elaborate on it. Cool. I just I don't know if anybody would want to hear you give an hour review. Like that's a, that's a long time. Yeah, I don't. I listened to uh, there's a guy on YouTube. That was mine. <laughs> Go home, Roger. Uh, don't say that to me. I loved that show when I was a kid. You you ever watch a show and you uh, bubble, watch bubble. it? And you watch it as an adult and you're like, oh man. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> <laughs> this guy stinks. The Doodle Brothers, <laughs> super stinky bros. Ooh, ooh, ooh Mario, ooh, stinky. The Doody Pants Bros. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean, the deal is, Trevor. No one would like my scores. My scores would be too low because on my scale, you'd have to you you would have to create something. Like Minecraft to get to get a ten, something you think that is Minecraft so is a ten. Absolutely, I mean that game is like changed gaming forever. Michael used to fall asleep playing that game. <laughs> what are you talking about? Give but it again, 10. we're talking about being objective here. We're talking about being objective. Do I find a lot of things boring? Absolutely, it's not it's not the game for me in a lot of respects. But I also remember the time where I just found myself. I looked up at the clock and it it was it was daybreak. And I was still working on my underwater base. <laughs> what? 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 what, what, what we in olden times now? The creativity that you could, <laughs> that you can have in that game, the world, the characters, like uh, working within the mouths. Like, there's a reason why it's the best-selling video game of all time. Hmm, so it beat Fortnite, Tetris. No, Fortnite has not sold copies. Like, for, I mean, some people have bought Save the World, but you know what I mean. Uh, you just can't pop me. Like you look at the PlayStation charts of like top selling games on the PlayStation store every month, Minecraft will be there. Go on the Nintendo Switch every month, Minecraft will be there, and it's not a fad either because it's been like I think like ten years since Minecraft came out, and so that, that's what I'm talking about. We're like this, it, it is like you know that would be a ten for me. Uh, you know something like um, I can't even it like you know it's like I think I think Tropical Freeze. Oh, Who's that? Here, I got you. I got you, boy. Um, Tropical Freeze is, uh, I think, probably the best 2D platform of all time. Uh, is it a 10? No. I don't think so. The bonus rooms really ruin the pacing of the game. And they're like, you know, you want to collect things. It's fun to collect things. The game wants you to collect things. So you, you could theoretically skip them, but you'd also be like losing out on that sense of exploration. And the bonuses just don't really add anything. They they break the pace. They ruin the music. It's like it's just not, um, you know, not a, an enjoyable part of the, the, the game experience. And so it takes it down. It doesn't take it down much, but you know, it's like nine, not, not a ten. Uh, in in my book, like I, I just don't I don't even know how many tens I would ever give out. I mean, well, that's the Tetris thing about would it. be a ten. Well, that's the thing about it. Tens were given out like handy. Like a ten is a masterpiece. Okay? A ten is a triple A game. That's that that's very good. Uh, you know, an an eight, but it's been but it's been manufactured by Nintendo or someone that's like beloved. Well, that's why when I heard that, one one person one reviewer say, well, the reason why they get these scores and the reason why they're made. In the first place, is because they're good games. Most AAA games are good games. Mm, oh, okay, all right, all right, cool. I mean, yeah, but it's it's just like that's that's kind of the flavor of the week, though. It's like people are really into that open world, cinematic, mimicking movies thing. I think that's gonna age really poorly. I don't think we're gonna be playing, you know, like the the PS3 version of Uncharted in ten years. Like, I don't think that's something people are going to be coming back to, but people will still go back to Super Metroid. That would be another game very close to 10, maybe possibly a 10. I mean, uh, it just depends. Like, for, like Pokemon Soul Silver, they're very close to a 10, but it, yeah, you know, it's like uh, Soul Silver's a 10. Um, yeah, I'm saying, like, you know, I'd have to really think about it, but but it's like that, but you know, nowadays it's like it's a you know, it's like Mario Odyssey got a 10. It's like there are some problems with Odyssey. It's not like a flawless game. It's very, very good. I'm very close to a 10, but it's like, you know, 
I mean, I, you, you, you gotta you gotta take into account the same way same websites giving it a ten are running full scale like Mario Odyssey is all you see on the borders of their website because they've got such a big ad. I mean, listen, Nintendo. I would so give like, certain games a ten. Like, I'm sorry, and you can say it's biased. Hey, guess what? That's the thing about every review. Every review is going to be different, right? We all do have different opinions. We all do see things differently. As Tyler, the creator, said in a recent interview, we all have different reference points, right? Your reference point is different from my reference point. That doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just different. What you like and what you look at, what your aesthetic is, is going to be different than mine. Mine and what I look for and what I like in the game, guess what? Final Fantasy VII, the remake and the new one, I mean, and the original, will both be tens to me. They're masterpieces. Um, That's me, right? So, I mean, but I wouldn't give every game a ten. Like some of my favorite games, I couldn't give Final Fantasy IX a ten. I just couldn't, even though that's my favorite Final Fantasy. Arguably, it's like it's my favorite one, but there, I cannot give it a ten when it obviously has flaws in it. They have moves in that game that you learn that you literally can't, that don't work, Michael. Like, it can't be a 10. It can be. Dude, this is... <laughs> That's so funny. Like, you know, if, if I were reviewing this game, like, I'd, I'd do this boss battle, and I'd be like, why is this piece here? It's not really exciting or... Uh, you know, just nothing is really happening. Well, that's the thing about some reviews. That was a chore. I, I just get confused. Like, you know, and people have talked about it, like... This game is great. Like, wait, what? This is literally the same game that came out last year. How is it? How is it? How is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, and to a certain extent, I feel like you know that that's another interesting interesting discussion is that when you when you review a game, it, do you review it in the context of what is out and what is come before it, or do you review it as its own thing in a vacuum? And uh, if it's, I mean, there, there's a lot of rabbit holes that jump down, but but yeah, I mean, I feel like. You know, honestly, there's no point to reading a review these days. You know, like if everyone on YouTube is too afraid to put a score on it, and so they don't. Uh, you know, people harassed Arlo out of giving scores to Nintendo games because Nintendo fans are rabid. And if you don't like every single Nintendo game that's ever come out and give it a eight, nine, or ten, then you're like the enemy. <laughs> and, and it's it's um it's silly because it's like I mean it, it, Nintendo's not your friend. Like you know I. I, I love these games too. Oh my gosh, he still chases you, even if you look at him. But yeah, like uh, we are um, we are playing on a 3DS. Uh, I got you. That has been modded to output HDMI so that we could share our love of Mario and Nintendo games and yada yada with you. Uh, Nintendo like took legal action against this guy. Even like changed the laws regarding your ability to modify your own systems. That's illegal in Japan. You, you can't make a profit modifying a system. Uh, so you can't like start a business where you like outfit Nintendo 64 to output to HDMI. Um, you know, like that, that Nintendo lobbied to make that illegal in Japan. Like they're not really like, you know, just looking out for everybody or anything like that. Does that make them like evil or something? And no, I think they're just looking out for their own interests. Uh, and I'm sure for whatever reason, they, they don't want people messing with their creations. It, and Japanese culture is very different in a lot of those respects than um, than the U.S., where we are based. And it's, I mean, you know, it's just, you take all that and then, like, the way people will, will hate you if you don't like their favorite game and the way that peop that companies are less willing to work with you if you're, you know, uh telling uh you know their customers how bad their games are and so it's like yeah i mean everything that's not a certified stinker like um animal crossing uh on the switch or animal crossing on the uh the wii u i'm gonna go through the door now yeah okay oh <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, uh, loser 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 it's gonna be what were you one. saying uh everything that's not an absolute certified stinker like animal crossing amiibo festival is uh is an eight nine or ten and it's just like there's nothing there's no conversation to be had there if it's nintendo buy it i guess <laughs> is the, the message. i mean but that's the messed up part like people should be able to be honest i mean and i think that's the thing about it even though i completely disagree with this one review is review of my favorite game of all time that i just like mentioned right to cancel to try to cancel him because he didn't like it, it was like okay i'm not gonna go that far i may think he's i may think his opinion is idiotic yeah, he looks like the face of a titan on, on like Attack on Titans or something. I dude, I I just do not make time. Uh, oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Ah!
I really need to make time to watch that show. I don't I don't make time to watch like movies or TV much anymore. Yeah. Which I know is crazy to you. I made myself wait until like the I thought the show was finished before I finally watched the last season. Like a last season part two? Yes. I, with the, that's just another season. Oh, well, they do that another with season. They do that with Attack on Titan. They do that with a lot of shows. I think they did that with Breaking Bad. Like, oh, too. this is season three, but no. Or like, this stay is tuned doing, until the next time, because you know that's all Attack on Titan is. It's a lot of just cliffhangers, bro. So I'm like, nah. Instead of me stressing and waiting a week and wondering what's gonna happen, I'm gonna wait until it's finished. And I thought I was doing that, stressing myself out watching it. Oh no, there's a part two to the last, the final season coming out. Maybe in late 2021, early 2022. I'm like, yay, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Well, wait, 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 look at him. Look at him. Go, Trevor, go. Go, Trevor, go. Go. Oh, I thought I fell off. That's the sad part. I'm like, it's over, buddy. I'm cooked. Yeah. Good work, me boy. Good work. Boost me up. I'm your, I'm your, I'm your little brother. Boost me. Oh, Michael. I'm doing it, man. You know this game controls like you know, rubbing butter all over a GameCube controller. <laughs> Speaking of butter, I need to buy some more butter. <laughs> it's so random. Oh man, I got that that organic grass fed unsalted butter. Yeah, that it cost you twelve dollars. Mm, hmm. Like four. <laughs> you got one stick of butter for four, four bucks. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think three, four dollars. Toad needs a job. <laughs> That's his job. And now goodies. That's not a real Stinking job, Toad. <laughs> oh, he be doing this thing in golf. You just mad because you ain't good with him. <laughs> I didn't. I never played him. It's just you. You did awful. Don't be hating. Uh, oh, we got a new level, Trevor. This one's got bams. What's this thing do? It getting a blockhead? What's it do? If you if you run fast, you will get coins. That's how it's done, Trevor. Help Ouija. Help Ouija. Ouija. Ouija the best. Watch out. Oh. I never. Huh. Look at that. We found our first glitch. Two episodes in. Way to go, mom. Oh my gosh. Well, that's perfect. <laughs> nice. Some of the mechanics of this game, like particularly with like multiplayer, are such garbage. <laughs> my gosh, Michael, move. <laughs> They're great for humor, though. They're so great for humor. Like, this game is legitimately fun. I, I really find the humor aspect of just how much of a train wreck this game is sometimes when you're trying to, like, play with multiple people. Ooh. I really do view that as a positive. Okay, I was on top of it. Whatever. All that trouble. What, what'd you get? Oh, man. Ooh. Bye. Why did they put it up there? <laughs> it's like, don't worry, I got this. It's gamer time. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, this one's a little tougher. It's a, a secret level. Sora. It, 
it feels like it shouldn't be this hard. All right, give me a boost. Like, you should have di. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking at me, dying. <laughs> Why is it not change the camera? <laughs> it's just looking down at us. Change the camera perspective up. Oh, we're cooked. We're cooked. Now we talking. Yeah. All right, come All right, let's on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We missed the second one. We did. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Where's the second one? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Would you play a side-scrolling banjo and kazooie? Absolutely. That'd be fun. You don't want to find it? I just want to get power ups first. Okay, so that wasn't that the first one? So it has to be like up somewhere or something. Maybe down here. What do we have to lose? We could have waited, you know, so we didn't have to like load out. They literally hide secrets in there sometimes in Mario games. So it's like, you know, you got to roll the dice sometimes. Roll it. With the zero indication. Oh, here, here's where we're supposed to go. I found it. You see, this one has coins. Oh, fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never understands. What? what was the point of that? No, that can't have been the, like the point. Come here, I'm going back. No, come up here. Maybe it's up here. Or it's something. not up there. We already been up there. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. Let's go here. Oh no, I know what it is. Oh my gosh! Because <laughs> they gotta send out five of them at once. There we go. He has that thing you discovered earlier. How you gonna leave? <laughs> I picked up, I scooped up your treasure. Treasure. I got you, my boy. Now we gotta do that thing all over again. See, Mike, you got, you know. Oh, Come on. I almost had it. There we go. Now Skirt. we're talking. This is like a vibe for Mario games. They always have these levels where like stuff randomly shoots out. Ah. Don't ever say I wasn't a good friend. You are. You are. Great friend. Oh, we were this close. That's That's good to know. Bro time! Bro time! Bro time! 
But I ain't gonna cancel nobody over it. Like, no, you just don't like Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's okay. I think you're crazy, but we can both just think differently. You know, his, his reference point is different. And also knowing that he doesn't like RPGs. So it's okay. It's yeah. all good. And I mean, yeah, so I don't know. It's very, it's a very interesting discussion. That's why, like, I, I, I definitely could see a world where I would give reviews, but it's like, you know, uh, but yeah, I mean, the, reviewing Nintendo games is like a, you know, just a, a masochist ex exercise because like people are going to hate you when you don't give the latest okay. whatever. You just gonna hate me then? Listen. Well, I mean, that's and that's how I'd feel about it. But I also like it's you know if you want to stand out on YouTube and like get somewhere, uh, let's plays are not or <laughs> let's plays aren't the way to do it, and uh, reviews are not the way to do it. Like everybody's got a review for every every game but listen i respect any reviewer who's giving a real honest critique right versus somebody who's just reviewing something just to be a uh, contrarian well i actually think this game is great like they'll say something that's the opposite of what the normal consensus is just to get, get attention like yeah well but i think like, dude, at the this same game time sucks. some consensuses are just off like of course skyward sword is not a great game it's like i'm not convinced it's a good game yeah like, no, I, but i played it on switch and in like it controls somehow worse than it did in in the original. You have to like constantly recenter the gyro um, in instead of the other thing, which wasn't a great solution in the first place. And it's just like uh, you know, people look at that and they're like, "It's Zelda, so it good. Zelda good. Pokemon good. Call of Duty bad." <laughs> It's no, but like, it's just. But that's the thing. It though. comes down to that so many times. But that's what I'm saying, though, Mike. It's like you know, certain things is like no. Of course, normal consensus is like people. People can be like off their rocker, but other stuff is like when you see the thumbnail with people with their thumbs down, and it's this game that oh, obviously yeah. well, everybody yeah, there's, loves. There's some, yeah. There's definitely some some people who have turned that into a grift, uh, just like unnecessarily criticizing things but you know it's like i i made a video about how i didn't like uh breath of the wild dynasty warriors um and uh you know outlined all my points and it's just like you know i got so many like you know I terrible man <laughs> every conversation that, that that ends up with that is just like how everybody's wrong and like the, you know the game is good and even though it chugs at like a 12 frames per second it's so <laughs> good and the story even though they change everything and they lied in the marketing for the game telling you it was going to be a prequel and j just kidding it's not a prequel because we don't know how to you know make that story uh that like it's you're, you're wrong for like not liking the game and um and i just like you know I, I, while i was while i was writing that i'm like man there's just a, there's just certain games that like i i, I like like one of the, I've got this 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 internal rule. It's called the Zelda bump. Uh, now I love Zelda games. Me too. Um, I don't love all of them, and uh, and even though I do love them, I see that, you know a lot of the problems with them. A lot of them are kind of clunky and, and boring in a lot of areas. Uh, you know, it's like I love Wind Waker, but there are parts of that game that are just um and uh, and I, so I you know I I just like secretly like kind of made this this little thing in my head they're just like yeah there, there is a zelda bump that exists if it's a zelda game it is typically two two points two points more than it needs to be so like breath of the wild i think you can make a very fair argument that that's an eight it's got a lot of like core problems in the game that they need to resolve in the sequel and i hope they do uh, but otherwise, it's a fantastic game. But here, here's um, the thing about it, Mike. You know, because even the conversation, there is a conversation to be had, right? Like, let's say movies. I personally don't think Black Panther is the masterpiece that a lot of people made it seem like it was, right? I think it's good. I think it's great. I could argue. I give it like an eight. But the impact of Black Panther is undeniable. Oh, yeah, big cultural moment. I mean, you know, it broke that that stupid rule in Hollywood that you couldn't, you know, have something go. You, you couldn't have something do that well in the box office that had a black lead. And here here we go. And all like black a, cast, you know, unless it's a black story. black cast, except for that, the silly white guy who's like, hoo-hoo, I'm the silly white guy. <laughs> I mean, he was funny. 
Yeah, he's, um, yeah I don't know. He was funny. There's always that character in the Marvel movies, and I just, uh, I, I'm not, I don't find it amusing anymore. Just, no, oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I, I know how to solve these. I know how to time travel, but I'm so dumb. That's well, like, he wasn't that dumb. Was the, that was the Hulk in uh, in Endgame. Just like, oh, I'm so silly and st- and and socially awkward and kind of dumb and also yeah, like no, he, time travel. Yeah, he lost his genius. Like that's the well, that's my biggest thing about it. And people argue with me all day. Whoa! So do you think Hulk can really beat Thanos? It's not about that. It's about him losing his identity as a character, bro. Like who is this guy? I don't know. Yeah, who well, this it's person like you is. know. It, it, I like I like the light tone that Marvel movies have, but they there's a there comes a, a point where they prioritize giggles over everything. And it's Listen. like it's like Thor too. Like all the Fortnite jokes is like I kept waiting for like something to happen in his character, and and it doesn't really. I mean, he just kind of like picks up the but, hammer but, and he's but, like, I have the hammer again. But, but even but even with Thor, even though he you you didn't like the fact that they were just overdoing the like he, oh I'm fat he still now. Had his moment. He was still Thor. He, he still had his moment you know he uh, was still thor yes i mean they overdid some things but he was still thor he is still the god of asgard okay like so i'm just saying like i don't know it. man not worth it just leave <laughs> okay maybe we'll do Get it. Don't, be, don't be afraid um yeah so but, I'm just saying, you know, but stuff like that. So but yeah, I, I, get, I get that that some stuff is like a, a cultural, a cultural moment, touchstone, for sure. No, uh, that's why I brought that up because with Breath of the Wild, okay, as a game and everything as a whole, eight. But what it did and how it shifted gaming to a capacity. Oh, absolutely. That, that, I think you know, it's it, as far as one of the most influential games that that has ever existed. Absolutely, yeah. Like I think you know. Horizon Horizon came out at the same time and it, in a lot of respects it's better like it's it's got way finer visuals it's got um you know it's 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 got some it's got some sauce on on Breath of the Wild in a lot of different ways at the same time the lack of climbing in that game makes it feel primitive and that that is really like the power in in that design and so it's like but but like you know do I ignore how the combat is kind of boring and the um you know, unless unless you're like breaking the game apart and exploiting things that were never designed to be in there in the first place, it's like the combat can be a little clunky, a little. Uh... I don't know why you thought I was gonna stay alive. Come on. Um, but yeah, it's 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 just like it's it's just not perfect. There there's like five different enemies in the entire game, so like you're gonna spend a hundred hours and you're gonna see like five different creatures. You got the uh, the lizards, you got the lionels, you got the goblins, you got the moblins. That's that's about it. You know, there's a there's a few other ones that'll appear here and there, but like not much enemy variety. I mean, you know, and you're like, oh, your your biggest excitement is like, oh, this one's white. <laughs> this one's colored differently. Amazing. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, not perfect. Very good. Maybe a nine, maybe an eight. Not perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, but and, I, you know, like, like someone gave, like IGN gave Skyward Sword the original a ten, a ten. Yeah, that's 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 a sin. Um, and I'm like, you know, that's one way to get a job, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, <laughs> but I just I only ask that question like, does Impact have a a place in the score too? Because I can see that being an argument. Like, yeah, but the Impact and just a cultural shift that like. That um yeah I mean I think you can make the case in in your review that like you know like this game will change games forever, uh but you know I think uh, but it's like you know where what what was the cultural impact of Skyward Sword that it was like it was such an I mean oh <laughs> I'm sure you got scared yeah man I'm Bubble Boy you know that uh like like what was the lasting impact of Skyward Sword that it was such a bad Zelda game and performed so poorly uh that they changed Zelda games forever after that like they they like I don't I don't know if they'll ever make a game like Skyward Sword again that's not like a remake or a remaster uh in that that is the lasting impact of that game that like it didn't turn out well <laughs> like that's 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 it. That it did that underperformed on on one of the best selling consoles of all time, and you know that's that's it. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's an argument. I just you know I wonder just because like that's probably the argument even because some people could wonder why Final Fantasy VII was 
like you know slated to be the arguably the greatest RPG of all time. Uh, you have to stand on this. Yeah, it's not worth it anyway. It's just what. Oop. Stinky. Yeah, somebody can make the argument about Final Fantasy VII. Like, wow, it's just the greatest RPG of all time. There are plenty of blah, 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 blah. Well, Impact. Impact. Also, the music. Also, you know. Well, then there's the completely story. separate discussion of, like, well, um, you know, is it. Is it is it still good by today's standards? Come come jump over jump over here jump over here. This was hold up. No. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm not crazy. Yes, you are. Uh, we're supposed to bring the trampoline. Oh no! It's there's gonna be like a P switch right there. Hit, hit that. Oh. Never mind. Oh, okay. There's something. Here, uh, just uh, let me trampoline off of you. There we go. You nice. gotta cheese it sometimes, gentlemen. Oh, sorry. I, I definitely uh, needed that. You're lost. <laughs> Derek Koopa. Look out for him. Oh my gosh. I do actually think this is one of the more fun Mario yeah. bosses. It's kind of like Pac Man. A really slow Pac Man. Mm. Oh, 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 we got it. We got a little twist on the concept. All right. Let me at him. Let me at him. Yeah, he just wants me. Oh my gosh. He hit me with that. That's Matthew when we play Fortnite. <laughs> I'm kidding. Matthew, I love you. Controller plays. Like and subscribe. <laughs> What's the name? Wendy? Wendy Koopas. Well, alrighty. Well, well, well. And now we're here in uh, Waterworld, right on schedule. And that's going to be the end of this episode.